Hey guys, it's Alex here. Now this week, Red Sea released their automatic filter roller, the Red Sea Reef Mat. So today, I'm gonna to talk you through it from a hobbyist perspective and tell you everything you need to know. Now this is not a sponsored video, I have no relationship with Red Sea, and if it's your first time here and you want a new reefing video every week, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. The first feature of note is the corrugated tube that you use to connect it to your water supply. It looks long and flexible so you can mount the filter sock roller pretty much anywhere you want and to connect it you simply screw the corrugated pipe into your water outlet which means there is no plumbing which is a big boost over the Clarisy filter roller. It's also easily configurable so you can either install the filter roller hanging on the back of your sump or you can have it freestanding on the supplied legs and the control unit can be mounted on either the left hand side or the right hand side so there aren't many restrictions in where you can put it all of which should make it much easier to install and it comes with a quick change roll system which looks absolutely fantastic and much easier to change the rolls when you switch to a new one. Now I have two filter rollers at the moment, an X filter and a Clarity and changing the roll is a bit of a faff if you get it in time but if you don't notice the roll running out and you change it after it runs out it is a massive faff. So this system looks really good and I'm keen to see how it is in real life but I think it's a massive plus for the Red Sea unit. Now it has a useful looking media basket underneath the unit which is a nice touch and a good use of what would otherwise be dead space. However, it does look as though all of the flow goes through that media basket and if that's the case personally I wouldn't use it for either Roafoss or activated carbon because you want much lower flow for those things. Another big feature is the monitoring and alert system and this is the first filter roller we've seen where it's connected to an app. It gives you more data which is always welcome including the average amount of roll you're using per day and a full history log showing you how much you use day on day which will help you see when your filter roller is turning more or less. It will also let you really easily identify how often you change your filter roll. Now you can measure that yourself of course with the existing units and on my clarity I reckon I change it every six weeks to two months but it'll be really useful to know exactly when that happens. It also has an alert system so it will send you a notification when it gets towards the end of the filter roll so you never miss the end of the roll and end up having to change it too late. Another big plus is that it has a really good capacity for flow. There are two units, one of which is rated at 6,000 liter per hour and the other is rated at 9,000 liters per hour. Now that is double the Clarice's 3,000 liter per hour unit and almost double the 5,000 liter per hour unit. And I think the smaller unit will be suitable for pretty much everyone as it takes 5,000 litres per hour, which is a hell of a lot of flow. On my 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot tank, I run flow at around 5,000 litres per hour, which by the time you factored in head height, probably means it's around 2,500 litres per hour. So all but the biggest tanks will be fine with the smaller unit and that is great news, firstly because it will save you a few quid, but more importantly because it will save you a bit of space in your sump, which is always precious. When you look on their website, you can see how the water goes into the unit through the main central hose. Now, crucially, this hose has really big outlet slits, unlike the Clarisy, and the significance of that is the Clarisy can block over time, whereas this has much bigger outlets, so it shouldn't block so often. And all of that brings us onto the price, which is £300 for the smaller unit and £330 for the larger unit. Now that compares favourably to the Clarisy, whereby the smaller unit is 285 but the larger unit is 310 The replacement rolls are also cheap at either £11 for the smaller one or £17 for the larger. Now comparing them is a little bit difficult because they're different lengths, 28 meters or 35 meters for the Red Sea and 40 meters for the Clarisy, but the Clarisies are a few pounds more, so I reckon they probably work out at roughly the same price when you factor that in. And neither company tell you what micron they're rated at, although I suspect they're probably about 25 microns, which is nice and fine and should be perfect for most people. So those are all the good things then, what about the cons? Well, while installation does look easy, proper installation still looks like a total pain in the ass. Now you can install it without removing baffles in your sump, but Red Sea recommends you do so on almost all of their tanks. Now I've done that on two tanks myself, and it is doable, but it really is a pain in the backside, so I would rather be able to avoid doing that. 
However, given Red Sea have now made their own filter roller, I would bet money on them upgrading their sump. Their current V3 sump has a built-in and fixed filter sock section, but I wouldn't mind betting they'll bring out a V4 sump soon that will incorporate this directly, either with a removable filter sock section or maybe no filter sock section at all. And if they do that, that will be a massive benefit, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it happen. The second con is that the units do still look quite big, particularly given that you have to fold the top open to make the change. Now space is at a premium in most sumps, but that goes double for tanks of three feet or less. So I'd really like to see Red Sea bring out a smaller unit in future to cater for something like the Red Sea Reefer 250 and tanks smaller. Now while the corrugated pipe looks really simple to connect, it does mean that water that comes from your emergency overflow on your Red Sea tank won't go into the filter roller. And I think that is potentially particularly a problem for Red Sea tanks which have the diaphragm valve, which is incredibly difficult to adjust finely. And I often find on my Red Sea tank that water always goes down the emergency drain and I can never get it just right so it doesn't. Although all that means is that a small portion, maybe 20% of the flow, won't go through the filter roller, which isn't the end of the world. And while the quick change system does look good and much better than the Clarity, I still think it's going to be awkward getting your arms in the sump to do that, particularly given that you've got to fold the top open. So finding a position in the sump that can accommodate that might be a bit difficult, and I would have loved to have seen a demonstration of someone changing the role in sump in the Red Sea video. So what are my final thoughts then? Well, I will reserve judgment until I've seen it in the flesh, but my first impressions are that it looks absolutely fantastic. The easy roll change looks awesome, it looks much easier to install than the existing rollers, and I love the monitors and alerts that it gives you. And while £300 is a lot of money, I actually think it's really keenly priced, particularly given the features it has. It strikes me that there will still be a place for the compact Clarity SK3000, but I'm struggling to see why you'd buy the larger SK5000 over the Red Sea unit. The Red Sea seems to have better features, handles more capacity, and is cheaper. But of course, these thoughts are just based on the video that Red Sea have put out, all the information on their website and a little bit of research. But while I'm really excited by this, I'd love to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.